welcome back to Crypto Johnny. So today I'm going to go over how to get your ADA into a wallet so that it is not on an exchange. Step one, you want to go to datalesswallet.io. And from here, all you're going to do is click download. And then you'll pick your operating system of choice, whichever, whatever you have, whatever your system has. Now, once that's done, I'll show you some pictures here because without pulling up my wallet. Um, so what it's going to do, once you do that, is it's going to ask you, it's going to give you 24 or 25 phrase key, uh, key phrases that you have to remember. So write them down. Um, put them somewhere safe and just in case you ever uh, let's, let's say like your I don't know your laptop falls off the, the, the desk and breaks or whatever and for some reason you just can't get into that wallet uh, those key phrases are what you will need to get all of your cryptocurrency back because you can always you can delete the delete the wallet and then re-download it and just put your key phrases in and it pulls everything up for you. It'll show your balance and everything on there. Um, a lot better than if you had a wallet with fiat in it and, uh, you know, something happened to it. Can't get that back. <laughs> Anyhow, what it's going to do is it's going to ask you, once you do all that, to add wallet. So you're going to click create in this case. And then it, once, once you click create, it's going to ask you for a wallet name and a password. Here we go. So you put your name in there, or the wallet name, and then your password. And just make sure your password is secure. You know, make it something crazy. And just put it with your 24 free uh, key phrases. On this wallet as well, you can have, on this, on this wallet, you can have two accounts as well. So you can have your main and then your savings or however you want to do it. Or you can just have one. If you're somebody who hodls and just holds on to the coins, you know, all you need is the one. But that's just a little extra that they offer. Uh, in the future, I, I know they're going to be offering more. I'm pretty sure they're going to be offering more coins on this as well. But, I mean, we'll see. So once you do that, you'll come to a screen that looks like this. And it gives you your summary. Uh, if you want to send it, receive it, you know, it gives you all your transactions that you've had. Um, and then settings, just you can change the color of it, do whatever you want with it. Uh, but if once you do that and everything is set up, pull up your exchange on a separate web page. Uh, click withdraw on your ADA. Make sure you click withdraw on the ADA. Make sure you're an ADA and you know. Some of these things on the um, on the exchanges are small, so make sure you're clicking the right one. You're going to come back to your wallet, click receive. It'll bring up your address to your wallet. So you're going to copy that, put it in the withdraw portion of the wallet that's on the exchange, and click send. And it'll send it over. It should take about 10 minutes. Uh, the full setup of the wallet, once you download it, and it has to connect to the blockchain, so it's going to take a little bit for that to connect. Um, I mean, they've been updating it pretty regularly. Uh, anybody who knows me knows I'm behind Cardano because they are, they're always updating something. Uh, their next update is actually on you know, the roadmap in 33 days, I believe it is. Yeah, 33 days, 9 hours, 55 minutes, and seconds away. So... What they're actually doing is they have, they're going to be updating their Shelly portion over here, the Ouroboros delegation implementa implementation. So what this is, is called proof of stake and proof of stake basically is you're putting your coins in a pool, in a stake pool. So what happens is everybody else is putting their coins in there too and you're basically 
helping create more blocks on the blockchain. So key to decentralization is the ability of stakeholders to delegate stake. In a proof of stake system such as Cardano, stakeholders have an obligation to take part in the protocol. To make this practical, stakeholders are able to delegate their obligations to others, so-called stake pools, which are able to fulfill the obligations. Stake pools operate core nodes that are online at all times and take part in it and and take part in the protocol and produce blocks in the blockchain. The team has begun work on this implementation and code. So this is actually going it should be ready, I believe. I read it somewhere on here. It was gonna be ready for quarter one of this year. So why I can't find it. But it should be ready for quarter one. And if you go back down they're also going to implement shorter addresses in the uh, in the I guess in the wallets so that it's easier to significantly shorter addresses will be displayed in the user interface making them easier to be communicated thank you a wallet consists of a set of addresses with ADA at each address. Currently, wallet addresses are a long string of numbers and letters which cannot easily be distinguished from each other at a glance. This feature will make it possible to have shorter wallet addresses that will be easier to communicate. In particular, Cardano addresses are currently a lot longer than Bitcoin addresses. The goal of this work is to have addresses that are much closer in length to those of Bitcoin. This will be done by minimizing the information represented in the addresses and improving the way the state delegation information is represented. So that's good. They're going to have shorter addresses, so they're not so long anymore. Um, I mean, if you ha there's no reason you should have to look at the address anyway and like write it down. And but I mean, you're basically copy and pasting it. You know, like I said, in the exchange and stuff like that. But uh, just make sure you delete your. Um, your clipboard and you copy it. Um, not a big deal if you don't, it's just a, you know, your wallet address, but make sure it's your public wallet address. So, so they're networking as well, support a wide and dynamic network, topography over common internet, internet infrastructure, enabling decentralization without sacrificing performance or security. Here it is. The Daedalus wallet will be able to hold multiple accounts within it, making funds easier to manage. So the user benefits. Funds held in Daedalus will be more convenient and easier to manage. Instead of having to create and back up separate wallets, users can instead manage several accounts all within a single Daedalus wallet. Like I said, your main and your savings or what have you, you know, whatever. Um, you know, you can have, you know, husband and wife can have, you know, whatever. I don't know, Susie and Bob on there. However you want to do it. That's pretty cool. It's it's different. Um, then they have a uh, parties interested in running a stake pool in the Shelly test now. We're invited to register here. You probably need a lot of Cardano to do that. But, I mean, maybe not. If you have, like, 100 Cardano or something not or 180a it's it's really not gonna you're not gonna it's not gonna do much in a state pool um it'll do something but it's not gonna do much so the more you have the more power you have Just remember that these state pools um the reason i made this video was to help people get their ada off exchanges because you want to make sure you have your keys um you know, and a lot of times these exchanges, there was one exchange in particular, I'm not going to say the name, but let's call it Exchange X. So what happened was they, right before the whole proof of keys and uh, went down, uh, was it on the third, I believe? When that happened, uh, the day before, what they did was they stopped people from taking cryptocurrency out of their wallets the day before. So they basically shut down all the, you know, the, the option to send, like, what? It, it, yeah, so that's what I'm saying. You buy the stuff, get it off the exchange, unless you're a day trader or a uh, scalper, you know, a lot of people like to go 
on the exchange and then that's fine that's totally different that's that's something different but if you're just buying to hold them um to eventually use them for what they're going to be used for in the future or just holding them for an investment i mean get them off of there there's no reason that thing should be on there unless you're looking for like a two cent game you know and you have a ton of it but get them off of there you know this way you know you own them you have them either in your ledger uh well in your well, cryptocurrency in general, either in your ledger or your treasure. Um, I know Bitcoin Ben has this big safe offline wallet thing. It looks pretty cool. Um, if you're curious about that, uh, you can hit him up, go on his uh, YouTube and check him out. But with ADA, get it in that dataless wallet. Like, get off the exchange. So, and proof of key, proof of key. So just to give you guys a definition, a private key is a sophisticated form of cryptography that allows a user to access his or her cryptocurrency. A private key is an integral aspect of Bitcoin and altcoins, and, and its security makeup helps to protect the user from theft and unauthorized access to funds. So if you do not have your private key, it is not your crypto, basically, in a nutshell. Um, and there's a lot of decentralized exchanges too. You're better off on those. But like I said, just get them off of there. Put them in your in your own wallet so you know where they're at. So download, download the wallet. Proof of keys, proof of stake. Um, if you guys have any questions on anything that I went over, uh, feel free to leave comments in the drop drop some comments down below, and I will be more than happy to answer them uh if you guys are having trouble downloading it or something or you know if you're having issues like setting it up just uh yeah put a comment in there and i'll i'll help you out i'll jump on there and you know see if i can help in any way Cause that's the whole reason i make the channel is to help other people out um but like i said the wallet proof of stake which is going to be great quarter one of this year. Hopefully it comes out soon. Um, and then proof of keys, you know, make sure you have your stuff off the exchanges. And the main websites that you should, you know, if you have Cardano and you want to, you're going to follow through with all this is datalesswallet.io. And if you want to read more about Cardano, just cardanoroadmap.com, really easy. So if anybody has questions, drop them in the comments, and I will be more than happy to respond. All right, Happy New Year, everybody, and take it easy.